Yo, what's going on guys? It is KevDog here, and we got multiple things revealed for Pokemon today out of nowhere. It was kind of out of the blue, but they revealed multiple new things for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet today, and other Pokemon news, and you don't even need the DLC to do the stuff that's coming soon. Before we get into all of that, definitely subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to get up to 60,000 subscribers. We're getting pretty close. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching, and let's get right into it with the first bit of news, which is probably what you clicked on this video for. Okay, so it got revealed today in a very weird way. The Hisuian Decidueye will be in the next seven star terror raid event in scarlet and violet this is your typical raid event meaning it will be in paldea and not in kitakami so you do not need to own the dlc at all to participate which is really good because if they started locking these out that would really suck i'm gonna get into how they revealed this which was really weird but first i want to mention when this event is actually taking place this event for decidueye and it's his in form will go from october 6th to october 8th and then again from the 13th to the 15th of next month this is actually going to be the first time that you can get his in decidueye in scarlet and violet without needing to transfer from Legends Arceus first. I think that's really cool because now if you don't have that game, which a lot of people don't, you can actually get this Pokemon without trading other people. The most recent event, if you forgot, was for Mewtwo. That was a huge raid event, the hardest raid ever in Pokemon history, for sure. Maybe not as hard as the Sword and Shield one, though. They did a Mewtwo event raid in Sword and Shield, and a lot of people say that was harder, but this Scarlet and Violet one, that was a mess. I might make an update video when the Hisui and Decidueye raids actually start, but if I do, it would just be like a YouTube short or a TikTok, so be on the lookout for that maybe. The way they revealed this Decidueye event that I said was very weird was Pokemon actually sponsored Purple Cliff, the YouTuber. He started on TikTok and moved over to YouTube if you haven't seen or heard of him before, but he already makes Pokemon content, but Pokemon sponsored him to announce the news. It was kind of weird. I think it was definitely cool and unique to announce it in this way through a sponsored video, but it's definitely weird. I don't know if they're going to keep doing this or not. The next bit of news we got is for the Indigo Disc, which is part two of the DLC. First, let me mention that they are going to be selling a physical copy of Scarlet and Violet that actually comes with a DLC included on the cartridge starting on November 3rd. They announced this today and a lot of people started immediately talking about does this mean that on November 3rd the DLC number two will be out? And the answer is no. It was officially stated by Nintendo that on November 3rd when this becomes available you will still have to wait into the future where you could actually download the second DLC. A lot of people thought that it coming out on November 3rd the cartridge meant that both DLCs will be out by then but that's simply not the case unfortunately. Now as for how the DLC release date actually does tie in with this, we're gonna go over to a tweet by Shiny Catherine, another YouTuber. She tweeted out saying, I wonder how many people saw this and thought the Indigo Disc is gonna be out by the time these are. And that's exactly what I was talking about before. A lot of people just assumed that it would be out by November 3rd. She says, I do have some info about the release, but it's barely anything. So nothing really to take a huge note of. She said, it'll be out after November 30th, which is a whole 27 days after the November 3rd release date for the cartridges. This is something a lot of people already assumed because they said DLC 2 would be coming in winter of 2023, which doesn't start till December. The last thing she says is that it'll be after November 30th, so unless its release is pushed to 2024, which it probably won't be, it'll be out in December. No confirmed date. Something I think is pretty important is that winter 2023, the official timeline announced, is only lasting 11 days. At least over here in America, winter starts on December 21st, meaning it will only go from the 21st to the 31st, and then it's a new year. So yeah, if the DLC really is coming out in this winter, it'll be in December, and it will be anywhere from December 21st to the 31st, if it truly is in winter and not fall. That's gonna be about it for this news video, though. We got the seven-star Hisui and Decidueye raids coming soon, we got the physical cartridges with DLC coming soon, and a potential release date time frame for DLC 2. I made sure to say time frame because the release date is definitely not out. We are months away from this actually being in hands of the players. But if you enjoyed, definitely subscribe and comment down below your favorite part. Me personally, I'm pretty hyped for the Hisui and Decidueye raids because I did not start with Rowlet and Legends Arceus. I started with Cyndaquil, so I don't even have one. If you have not yet, I definitely recommend following me on Instagram, which will be down in the description because I've been posting all my TikToks and YouTube shorts over there too. They've been doing pretty well. I'm trying to grow on pretty much every platform I can, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, talk, YouTube. I'm trying to grow on all of them, so your support is definitely going to be helping. That's it for this video, though. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, everyone.